first plasma model. Uh, this is the position of the heart. This is the left lung. These are the pulmonary veins. Can you come closer? These are the pulmonary veins of the left lung. This is the pulmonary artery. If you can see that, pulmonary artery, it's in blue because it carries the oxygenated blood to the lung, pulmonary artery. Um, this is the left main bronchus. Um, as, as passing through the hilum of the left lung, it will give off two branches, the superior and inferior left lower bronchi. Uh, okay, now uh, this is the aorta and this is the arch of aorta see if you can come closer uh, uh, it will arch like this uh, all right so uh, this is the level of the sternal angle uh, there are some important uh, things uh, or structures at the level of the sternal angle uh, firstly uh, we've got the bifurcation of the trachea uh, this is the trachea and uh, at the level of the sternal angle, it will divide into the right and left main bronchi. Uh, we also have uh, the aorta. Uh, so the ascending aorta would be here. Uh, at the level of the sternal angle, the ascending aorta will become the arch of aorta. And again, uh, at the level of the sternal angle, the uh, arch of aorta uh, will become the descending thoracic aorta so this is the descending thoracic aorta and as the descending thoracic aorta passes through the aortic opening it will become the abdominal aorta this is the abdominal aorta uh, all right uh, and uh, at the level of the sternal angle uh, we also have bifurcation of the pulmonary artery which becomes the right and left pulmonary sorry uh, at the level of the sternal angle we also have bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk which will divide into the right and left pulmonary arteries but that has not been shown here uh, okay this is the superior vena cava uh, it has got two branches uh, this is the right uh, brachiocephalic vein. Uh, this, in turn, has got two other branches, or actually tributaries. Uh, this is the right subclavian vein, and this is the right internal jugular vein. From the uh, superior vena cava, uh, we've got another branch which is the left brachiocephalic vein which in turn has got two other branches or tributaries uh, this is the left subclavian uh, vein and this is the left internal jugular vein from the arch of aorta uh, we've got some branches firstly we have the brachiocephalic artery to the right side, we've got the brachiocephalic artery. It has got two branches, the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery. From the left side of the arch of aorta, we've got two branches, the left subclavian artery and the left common carotid artery. So it's interesting to know that the left uh, subclavian artery and the left common carotid artery uh, branch right from the arch of aorta. However, the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery branch from the uh, brachiocephalic artery which has branched from the arch of aorta. Uh, this is the trachea and uh, behind is the esophagus so this is esophagus 
going through the esophageal opening. This is the inferior vena cava. And this is the azygous vein. Again, this is the azygous vein. The azygous vein will join the superior vena cava, but the joining has not been shown here. 